In this video, we are going to look at how to use the Joomla Media Manager. The Media Manager is used to upload images in bulk, and it's also used to manage the images that are on your website. If you are a little more experienced with image management and you are familiar with using FTP, the Media Manager will show you your files and folders from your images folder on your hosting account. To reach your Media Manager, you have two options. On the left hand side, you can select Media Manager, or from the upper menu, you can click on Content and pull down to Media Manager. If you are more familiar with image management, you will see that the Media Manager displays all of the files and folders that are located in your Images folder on your hosting account. If you are new to this, don't worry about FTP or where your images are stored on your hosting account. You will be able to handle everything from Media Manager. You'll see here that there are already a few folders that Joomla has installed. And you will also notice that there's a few standard Joomla images that are uploaded as well. You have the option here to create a new folder or several new folders if you want to organize your images or you feel that you will have a lot of images on your site. You will also be able to delete files and folders by clicking on the X in the upper right hand corner of each box that pertains to that particular file or folder. Now before uploading images, it is very, very important that you consider the image size especially with the big cameras that are out there today and all the DSLR cameras, you will come across very large image sizes. And that can be very frustrating uh, for you as the site administrator as you upload them and see that they don't quite work with the layout or the size of your website. But it's also very frustrating for the front end user who's coming to visit your site if your images are all out of whack, they're out of proportion, or they take a long time to download because the file size is so big. So it's a really good idea to shrink your image size down and get that file size down and only upload the size that you need. If you would like to upload a new image, you can simply select the green upload button in the upper left hand corner. It will then allow you to browse for an image. So here I'm going to upload a file. I can click start upload and it will begin the image upload process. As you can see, I receive a confirmation message saying that the image has been uploaded and I can see here that it is now uploaded as well. If I wish to delete the image, I can simply click the X and it will remove it from the Media Manager and it will no longer be available on my site. If you wish to create a new folder, to upload your images into, you can do that here by clicking on Create New Folder, inserting a title, and clicking Create Folder. If you would like to insert an image within that particular folder, simply double clicking on that folder will take you into the folder where you then can click Upload, select the image that you would like, and upload it there. So you'll notice that the file, the folder that I created is over here on the left hand side and I can scroll between the folders and when I scroll back to the folder I created, the image that I uploaded is there. This box on the left hand side of each folder will take you to the previous folder that you were in. If you wish to upload multiple files at the same time, you can click the upload button, browse, and you can either select all your files by doing a control A if you're using Windows or uh, select and holding down the shift key and clicking on each image that you would like to upload and clicking open and that will upload multiple images at the same time. Now that you are familiar with the Media Manager and how to create new folders and upload new images, whether you upload a single image or images in bulk, let's move on and let's take a look at how to actually go about inserting these images into your pages or modules.